Today I'm gonna make future wraith. Yo, what is up guys, welcome to a new video, my name is Wacro, and today I'm gonna start a short series about how to make future wraith. This is a genre that you requested a lot, and well, now here you have it. This is gonna be a series of two or three videos, I don't really know yet, so don't wait more, don't forget to subscribe, give a like to this video, if you learn something, that I'm sure you're gonna learn something, or I hope so, and let's get to it. Alright, so in this project I just have the key that is gonna be A minor, and this reese bass from my sound bank. I'm probably gonna start the song just like this. And here I'm gonna change it, maybe like this. And maybe here like this. Okay, I like it. So this will be the beginning of the breakdown. Here probably we're gonna add those epic chords and so that we have in Future Rave. And now I'm gonna look for a Future Rave lead to start with the melody and this way have the idea. So I'm gonna use the free Future Rave soundbank of Genwald and let's see the leads. Yeah, I like this one and I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah, I like it, and let's repeat it, because in Future Rave, the melodies are quite basic, you know, are quite repetitive. So I'm just gonna clone it like this and probably change this last one. And this is gonna be our melody, but of course, we need to work a lot more on this. And let me check this with the bass progression here. I think what I'm gonna do is make these things longer, so this way probably is gonna fit better. Okay, so the break is gonna start like this, but I want these slits to be filtered. Yeah, but I want to repeat the first bar because I don't want the change of the last one. Here, of course, we're gonna have a lot of epic chords and sounds and crashes and all these things. But of course, right now, this is so empty, so what I'm gonna do is uh, try to find more leads. And maybe what I'm gonna do is take the same lead, okay, this one, and change it a little bit. For example, let's take this out. And maybe add more voices to this, more here. Let's try maybe this one octave higher. Let's go here, maybe apply the delay. Yeah, so this way is not the same lead. But it's based on this one, so right now they probably work really well together. But you need another one that is more like ambience, you know? Maybe if I just take this. Maybe something like this covers a lot of space, let me see. But I still need another one that sounds a bit fatter, so what I'm gonna do is use a bang of a friend that sent me. Damn, a lot of leads here. This can be good, but let me look for another one. Yeah, I like this one. Of course, it needs a lot more processing, a lot more reverb and all these things. But also what I want to do is to add extra layers for the second part of the drop, where I'm gonna make it more epic. My idea is to have the first part of the drop like raw, you know, like energetic, like kind of big room drop. But then the second part add a lot more harmonies, a lot more emotion, lot so make it sound a lot fuller. And to this I'm gonna go to my sound, I'm gonna use one of these super sauce. But not that long. And maybe what I can do is clone it, one octave lower. And then I have one that is this one, the Hearthstone Apocalypse. Obviously not that long again. 
and I'm changing the length of all these leads because the main idea when you're layering is that all of them sound like one. So if you have one that has a really long decay, one that has shorter decay, one that has like maybe a lot of release, all these things make it not sound like one unique lead. So if you try that all of them have the same length, it's gonna sound more unified. So as now I'm lazy, I'm just gonna put all of them here and I'm gonna do basic processing. The first thing is to add a bit of OTT and for OTT what it is like this. And now I release it. A bit of EQing. I'm gonna use a bit of Dimension Expander because when we don't have these supporting leads, it sounds a bit uh, mono. Now I'm gonna use this river they have. But also what I'm going to do is use a technique that sometimes I use in hardstyle that is adding another reverb that is way, way, way longer, but is way quieter. This thing, what it's going to do is you're going to hear and feel this reverb. And the other one, what it's going to do is cover more space and give extra depth. So with this one, I'm going to do it like this, probably like nine seconds, something like this. More attack. Something like this, but only like 20%. And right now, the better tip I can give you to clean the reverb is to add here a peak controller. We're gonna sidechain these two reverbs to this peak controller. So this way is like having a bus where uh, the dry signal that is before the peak controller is gonna control this. So this way, when the dry signal plays, the notes are playing, the reverb is reducing a little bit. So just right click here, link to controller. We send it to this peak controller on peak and we invert it. And do the same with the other one. So now when it plays, as you can see, it's reducing. And as an extra tip, what I'm gonna do is after the reverb, I'm gonna add another OTT, but this one is gonna be really subtle. Maybe it's just like 10%. Yeah, so right now this sounds super epic. And another thing I want to do is on this wrist bass, I want to control the pitch. So to control the pitch, I'm going to put this on 12 and this one on minus 12. And now just like this, right click, create automation. And here what I'm going to do is in some parts, probably every bar, what I'm going to do is pitch it up and pitch it down. Okay, what I'm going to do is make this longer because this way I can have a bit more freedom to do this. Let me see. What are we gonna add here? We're gonna add the claps, the chords, uh, some voices, things like this. So I'm gonna add some voices and for this I'm gonna use Nexus. And as just next is probably not gonna be enough, what I'm gonna use is the Philharmonic. And here, what I'm gonna do is first use the choirs. But then here, what I'm gonna do is add the full orchestra. Uh, we need to change this to one, otherwise it's not gonna be playing and probably make it a bit quieter. And then here we're gonna need to add some chords. All right, so let's put here the voice and let's see how this works. Gives a lot of, a lot of ambience. And to make it sound more epic and full, I'm gonna add these two down lifters. This is just a down, normal down lifter. And this one is with voices. This one is going to sound a lot more epic. And I'm going to make this unique. I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to put it here. And what I'm going to do now is click here, automate the panning. And now I double click the panning. I enable the LFO and create an automation of the speed and create an automation of the amount. So just like this, we have this effect. So right now that we have our main idea, I'm gonna stop working on the breakdown. Yeah, it needs a lot more work, it needs ambient effects, it needs some drums, some sounds here and there to make it sound more epic, fuller and all these things. But right now I'm gonna stop working on it to work a bit on the drop. But of course, if you want to know how to finish this breakdown, that means next tutorial, you know, next week. And what do we need for the drop? Obviously the list that we already have, some basses and some drums. So let's get to it. So for the bass, I'm gonna use these three sounds that I found. This is a sub bass from my sound bank. This is a bass, and this another one. 
So my idea for this is first, with this one, I'm just gonna do it like a rolling one, you know, like this. But for this one, I'm gonna try to be a bit more complex, you know, try to add some rhythm, maybe something like this. But this will be boring yet, so I'm gonna put this one higher. But yeah, we need the mono legato, maybe on this one. Yeah, like this. If it happens this that goes up and down and you want to go down up, what you have to do is just click here on this ones and it's done. By one octave lower. And maybe here we can go down to D. And maybe add a bit more variation here. What I'm gonna do instead of doing a glide, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, and then finally the sub bass is gonna sim be similar to the previous bass, but what we're gonna do is make it more basic. All of them together. Right now it sounds chaotic and super dirty and muddy, but with a bit of magic processing, just a bit of EQing and sidechain, it sounds like this. And now with these leads and this bass, we add a kick like this, really fat and some rides, it sounds like this. It's starting to sound good, but of course we need some more uh, noise in the background, so, and also what I'm gonna do is put the noise in the leads. Usually for the noise and then use Serum, I use the 3X OSC, but the problem is that with 3X OSC, I cannot really control the decay and the release and so, so that's why I'm gonna use this one. And it's so simple, just disable this, put here, I like to put the bright white, put a filter, we want a band pass, something like this. As you can see right now, it's so long, so just do it like this. And for my sound bank, I'm gonna choose this down lifter. I'm gonna use uh, some white noise. This one. I'm also gonna put this crowd noise. And also looking for some sound, I found this thing. So I think it can be cool. So right now, everything together is like this. And for the second part of the drop, what I'm gonna do is take the same thing, but these leads are gonna have these two that they have here. And also what I'm gonna do is add here some chord sounds. But wait, if you want to know how I made the second part of the drop where I'm gonna add the chords, I'm gonna make a bass progression, so this way we add more emotion and harmonies, how I improve the drop and make it sound fuller, and also how I make the breakdown and the build up, don't miss the next tutorial next week on this series, you know? And if you don't want to miss it, you have to subscribe. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any tutorial and also if you have any suggestions for this song just leave it down below in the comments I will read all the comments and if there's any suggestion that I like I will do it so nothing else guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video